Here we go again. Another black woman attacked by a man. This time a white man. And nobody tried to intervene. I mean, everybody standing around watching and filming. Check out the incoming privilege part. Police initially questioned him about the assault and let him go. Fam, he did the woman bad. He took her cane and beat her with her own cane. They say he hit her at least 50 times. We're just a society full of cowards. I hear a lot of dudes talk that talk about, well, I ain't gonna do anything. I ain't gonna do nothing, man, if it ain't my wife, if it ain't my girlfriend, it ain't my daughter. Do y'all understand how dangerous that message is? Why do so many women today say they don't need a man? Because we're independent as hell. If a man has friends, doesn't want kids, hires a maid and hires a prostitute, why would a man need a woman? What? <laughs> Shit. He could learn a thing, a one or thing, a two or thing, a one or thing. <laughs> we ain't gonna make it like this. A nation is only as strong as its woman. Women give birth to us. Fam, he did the woman bad. He took her cane and beat her with her own cane. They say he hit her at least 50 times. We're just a society full of cowards. We're just a society full of cowards. We're just a society full of cowards. I hear a lot of dudes talk that talk about, well, I ain't gonna do anything. I ain't gonna do nothing, man, if it ain't my wife, if it ain't my girlfriend, it ain't my daughter. A nation is only as strong as its woman. Tonight, a good Samaritan is recovering from the beating he took trying to help a stranger. Adam Theo says he witnessed a man assaulting a woman last night in Arlington's busy Clarendon neighborhood. He thinks it was that man's girlfriend, but when he stepped in to help her, the attacker turned on him. And take a look. This is what he got. Blows to the face and a trip to the emergency room. Police say they are looking for the man who did this and for the woman he was assaulting. Theo's friends have launched a GoFundMe page for his medical bills. We have a link on our website, WUSA9.com. Despite those bruises, Theo's sense of humor is still intact. He tweeted, my plans of being a male model are now trashed. The victim recovering tonight says he was physically attacked overnight after trying to step in to help a woman who was being verbally attacked. To help a woman who was being verbally attacked. To help a woman who was being verbally attacked. He has a shattered eye socket, a broken jaw, a giant gash in the back of his head. It's not a way to live, you know, I'm not liking the city, my city, you know, and I grew up here. I'm born and raised. And then I see a woman over there, very attractive, standing by herself. And then I see a woman over there, very attractive, standing by herself. And then all of a sudden this guy appears and he starts yelling in her face and waving his arms in her face. And I'm like, yo, like what's going on? Is he getting ready to hit her or something? It's like, where's he at? I said, he's coming at me right now. And he's walking towards me with his, you know, intent. Kenneth says he was speaking to dispatchers when the man attacked him. The next thing he knew, he was in an ambulance. He has a cranial brain bleed, lacerations in his head, fractures all up and down his orbital bones. My brother is a hero. The woman didn't stick around. Um, um, that he was raised to be and the fact that he saw a woman in distress. Would you do it again? Hell yeah, I'd do it again. Would you do it again? Hell yeah, I'd do it again. Would you do it again? Hell yeah, I'd do it again. Because we're independent as hell. Because we're independent as hell. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechaha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone.
salute and honors to you other elders and you brothers, you Achim, you fellow believers of this faith, you Akwaf, you few sisters, and Shalom to the hopefully elect. Real quick, I want to go on this video, if I can, um, about this famous rapper, old school rapper, Willie D, right? What your brother sent me this clip. And it, um, it always boils down, uh, well, the situation where a black woman was beaten with a cane, okay, by a white man. But in a society that says it's all about equality, it's all about equality and race, it always breaks down to race, or let me say so-called color, because color has nothing to do with race, right? You got our people who look like different nationalities, and you got dog nations that are not our people. And then it always comes back from equality back to the helpless woman again. So we see how this goes. Now, anyway, this woman, 60-year-old woman, got beaten with a cane, right? There's no... One thing we got to understand, the reason why I'm doing this video, because there was a Jake. He looked like a white man. He came up to the camp. We knew he was a Jake. We believed he was one. He was drunkard, and he wanted to fight. And then the people pulled out the cameras because he came up in our faces. You know, we pushed him off of us or whatever. Now, what do you think would have happened if a, f a fight had taken place? Then what will happen is they would have clipped everything and showed a so-called big black man hitting a fragile white man with a can of beer. You see how it goes? It's all what the media spins it to be. You know, that's what we could say. Now, and of course, this is why sisters come into the truth in a, a good portion. Let me say the sincere ones want to do right and want to do the right thing, which means to be under authority and under order and to be quiet. But no, these black conscience gurus that are the so-called pillars of the black community has laced them with sickness, with poison, right? Telling them that they're gods and they could do whatever they want, right? They don't need a man. They're independent. They even put it in the music. But for whatever reason, now you're targeted if you're a man that doesn't step up or so-called step in to diffuse a situation between another man and his wife. But then you step in the situation and you can get killed. Now, now, one of this brother, right, of this woman, this man who got his uh, orbital bone broken, his head bashed in, what if he didn't make it, right? He would have been a great hero at the funeral like somebody senselessly dying in a, in a war, right? Well, let me say this war. So we can see it, still see it's a battle of so-called sexes. It's an actual war. And you got men like this who are siding with women in this so-called uh, battle of sexist war. These women are weaponized by the men. And then you got women who would get on there and say, that's why I, I strap up and I take a gun. We've seen police women get beaten and had their own guns taken from them. But it's a feminist society that tells you, you don't need a man. Don't cry now. Right? And all you simpletons let me say that who accept this madness and accept the lack of accountability of the so-called black woman and her behavior and her actions now she's going to cry out and then you're going to cry out and say you know whatever but this man willie d i remember he's a famous rapper of the ghetto boys all he did was senselessly right talk down and um on the so-called game about black women and all the adultery they committed and all the sickness and stuff that they talked about and how they slept around with all the women and used them and, and, and uh, chewed them up and spit, spit them out. We see this brother polite, the shaka most. Both of them have molest, uh, has molested their daughters. A lot of these black conscious gurus are phony, man. They don't really care about the black woman in the community. They just care about your goddamn money. 
Let's get some scriptures. Proverbs 5, I'm going to the NIV version. Now, this guy, Willie D, he doesn't believe in the Bible. It's a, it's a white man's book, although it's nothing but history about a, us in there. But he doesn't believe in it. Okay. So let your iniquity get accomplished. Anybody who doesn't follow the truth, they're two-thirds in the hell with you. I'm not coming in to step in and do a police job. That you people and all you so-called black, a lot of these black women, you you set up um, marches, right, to fight against the police and had something called defund the police. Now you get what you get. Proverbs 5 and 3. For the lips of the adulterous woman drip honey and her speech is smoother than oil. So, you know... We never know what happened in these situations between a man and his wife. And these people are so-called Christians, right? They're supposed to join the, uh, read the Bible and say that a man is joined unto the flesh of his woman. They are one flesh. The Bible tells you what to do and what not to do according to your woman. If they will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, the hell with them. And that's why we're doing these videos to say, you know, the hell with two-thirds. But... If you're in a confrontation and them cameras are flying, just understand the repercussions, how you're in a no-win situation, and it's best to avoid it. And I'll get a scripture with what Yahweh did, right? It says, um, but in the end, she is bitter as gall, sharp as a double-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, right? This is clear. These women... They start the trouble, then all of a sudden they cry. And this man got beat because a man was so-called verbally assaulting this woman. So you mean to tell me this woman could have elbowed him, right? Could have cheated on him, right? Could have took all his money out the bank account, and now you're not even allowed to argue with your woman? In a society that says that they're all equal, and even they believe they're equal, so when they start standing up, and I'm thinking, I'm, according to you black conscience uh, gurus, when a woman starts standing up, right, or sitting down and remaining women and saying, well, look, I'm going to let you men lead. I'm not independent. I need support. First of all, you more likely have a man and you will have the support there, right? But nobody's there to protect the men. Nobody's, there's, uh, you have a judicial system that you can call and they'll come into your every whim. But when you're taking the child support, when you're taking the alimony, right? When you have false charges called on you, which happened to me before, right? Nobody says the men need to be protected. <laughs> First of all, the Lord put us in captivity. And there is no protection but the Heavenly Father. So your protection goes up under your man, then filtered through the Lord. Anyway, let's go, let's go on. Let's go to John 4 and 18. This is the woman at the well, the heathen woman, by the way. It says, Well, thou he's telling the woman it's Yahweh at the well. Um, I can't remember the well of 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 Jacob or Joseph or something like that. It says, um, for thou hast five husbands, and whom thou now hast is not thy husband, and that says, uh, thou, thou said truly. So basically, the Messiah, Yahweh, the one you call Jesus, said, I'm not getting involved. Don't come to me. He said, go ask your husband. Let me see if I could get that real quick. I meant to read that first. The woman said unto her, him, Sir, let me go up here. Yeah, the Samaritan woman. It said, The woman said unto her, him, Sir, give me the water that I thirsteth, nor neither uh, thirsteth not, neither come hither to draw. Yahweh said unto her, Go and call thy husband. And come to hither. You see what I'm saying? So the head, the headship is of the husband. We see this in 1 Corinthians 11. 
That is a spiritual because when you go, let's go to the Apocrypha. It says, <laughs> 26 and 14, she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he hath found a fountain, right? And drinketh of every water near near her. By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. The grace of a wife, the light of her husband, and a discretion, right, with fat in his bones. A silent and loving woman is a gift from the Lord. There's nothing so as much worth as a mind well instructed. So, first of all, you have to trust in the Lord, number one. And the Lord, if you have a man of the Lord who trusts in the Lord, everything that happens comes down from the Lord. There's no getting away with it, you know. There's no getting away with it. These eaves that are running wild and they're savages, he will never say nothing about the accountability of them and them beating up a so-called white man. What's up with that? You mean to get tell me you get to argue and complain about a so-called white man beating up a black woman, but three black women beat up a white man, and this is yesterday. Won't be no videos on that. And this is the problem. As long as they can be gods and they can terminate and go around and destroy everything in the path as long as we can flip that selective feminism on and say well <clears throat> I'm independent but when I'm in trouble I'm not independent anymore I need help <laughs> this is this is where we're at man when we go to the scriptures that says first Peter 4 and 15 it says be not a busy body in other men's matters going and talking about the Gentiles when you go into it uh, it says one who takes supervision affair pertaining to others and no wise to himself, a meddler of other men's affairs. Right? That's just what it is. Um, this is Proverbs 4 and 14. It says, um, let me see if I can get another translation. In, uh, NLV, NIT, NIV. Do not set foot on the path of the wicked. Or walk in the way of evil doers. So the scripture says a wicked man is given to a wicked portion of vice versa. So they're together. And they're together in their wickedness. If you start meddling and getting involved in something like that. You deserve exactly what you get. So this man Willie D is going to try to send a lot of you Jakes to your death. And a lot of you have wives. And mothers. And sons and daughters. Some of you. The men of the Lord knows better, but I'm just saying in general. An unnecessary, you know, reaction that we have no business in. You don't know what that woman did. She could have just committed adultery on him. He found out on her phone and he argued with her. Then he says, I see an attractive woman. See, that's all adultery. He's looking at another man's wife as attractive to the point he'll fight for her. So he'll get some of the goodies. But you know what she did? She left, and that was good. That was good for him. You know? That was good for him. So anyway, I don't have much, you know, I don't have much to say on this topic except the fact that this woman, you know, she, um, we never know what happened with the 60 year old woman. Could have happened. I, I don't know. Maybe he, in some way, somehow, he just looked at the black woman, picked up his cane, took her cane from her for no reason, and hit her 50 times with it. See, these black conscious guys are worse than the news, man. They're worse. They're all about the mother. The woman, because she brings forth the nation. The men bring forth the nation. The woman carries the seed and bring the seed. So it makes it work together. But it's still the men that are, that are the heads. And this is an example of what you see happening because the heads was removed. But now what this man wants to do is get a form of artificial male leadership back into the community. 
How destructive is that? Men, get out. Kick them out of the house. We don't need you. We got our own Section 8. We got our own jobs. We got our own AAA. We got our own maintenance workers. We got trash delivery. We got fast food. We got Uber Eats. We got everything we want in this society. Except a man. But you know what this man is trying to do? He's trying to keep you, Jake, into captivity. So now you could be the artificial the artificial father or the artificial husband to be another point, another part of that luxury that the black woman is getting. And that's the destructive part about it, man. So any of you Jakes that want to jump in and get involved in these other men's matters, you know, uh, have a, hopefully they'll have a military salute for you. <laughs> At your funeral. <laughs> That's all I have on that show. I won't.